Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Mel and the Celtic Runner. And okay, uh, you might have noticed here. I have, looks like I have something in my eyes. Not that I actually just got done the eye drops in my eyes for my allergies. For those who don't know, I <laughs> I am super allergic to my cats. And actually, let's figure out a way where this makes more sense. We'll do this. Hold on. This. I think we got it. There we go. So welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melon and Nostalgic Runner. And um, so this is not going to be that long of a video. This is going to be kind of like it fit with me presents accountability um, slash another content update. <laughs> and um, so last week you might notice I had my. Um, Get Fit With Me series presents accountability come out on Sunday instead of Monday. And um, it has a lot to do with what has happened for those who did not um, hear the recent update, life update that I have going on. Definitely check out that video. Um, it came out last Sunday. Definitely check it out and it will explain a lot of things. But with that being said... It has been a week since, um, almost a week, yeah, a little bit over a week since the news. And um, it helped me, I've been reevaluating a lot of things lately because of that news. And in a good way. So, one of the things that's going to be an update when, in regards to this channel is we should be getting some new content as far as like the reviews that, of it all that I do. So, um, I believe... Summer's House, Martha's Vineyard is going to be coming out soon, so I'll be reviewing that. Um, I'm not going to be reviewing Real Housewives of New Jersey. Um, I think Real Housewives of OC should be coming out pretty soon. I will be reviewing that. Um, Real Housewives of Atlanta, they still are, I think, putting their cast together, so we know that's not going to be a thing. Um... Yeah, so there isn't really going to be that many reviews, <laughs> I guess, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, I, I'm not sure when Young Famous and African is coming back out on Netflix, but when that comes back out, I'll be reviewing that as well. And I'm, I might be trying to find some other like um, videos to review. So I want to try to keep the two to three um, video rotations, but... Bravo, <laughs> this winter slash fall had me too tired with how many how many different housewife shows they had at once. So hopefully they don't do that kind of thing again because four at once, no wonder I gained weight. <laughs> anyway, um, but besides the um that update, the other update I want to definitely present to you with, because the other thing you might have noticed is where is the Get Fit With Me series for the yoga videos? Well, <laughs> I am deciding I'm going to take two weeks off. So I think, so I'm not going to be having any of that content up for the rest of the month of February. Happy Black History Month. Um, but I will be resuming in March, but what I will be resuming in March is no longer going to be the 30 day challenge. I will be, um, instead doing what I should have, what I was originally doing this month in March. Um, so back to three times a week. Um, I'm myself, I'm still going to be doing the yoga, but I'm just not gonna be filming it. Um, because yeah, I need to do yoga. That's like good for me, but um, the reason why I decided to do this is I actually was looking for more content to review as far as like new yoga videos. And there just isn't that many by all my different content creators I review. Um, other than like the three usual rotations of the people that I always re review. And I want to be fair and, you know, check out any new type of things and even like not even just yoga, but just like even workout videos. I kind of wanted to be able to cultivate like a little bit of a a culture where there's plenty of black people that work out. <laughs> you know, that's kind of my thing. Because um, I mean, I can't help them black, but I also um, love the community of finding people that are like me that work out. And 
yoga was one of the things and then i also would sometimes do some of the other workouts over there like um things that didn't require equipment so things you could do at home for like let's say you know snowstorm wherever happens and you're stuck at ha stuck in the house you know stuck in the house being bored stuck in the house being bored you would have the option to still work out but be at home and not have to like spend money on equipment or like a peloton or whatever so the, so we'll resume in March is what I'm trying to get at. And in April, I mentioned a couple of times I was going to be doing this 30 day yoga challenge that I was supposed to be doing in March. I'm actually pushing that to April for the, based off the news that I got recently, I'm going to have time to do it then. <laughs> I will have all the time in the world to do it then actually. So in April, we will be doing the 30 day challenge. Also, I might have some other content that's coming out in the month of April. Cause yeah, based off the news I got last week, I actually have a lot of cool, awesome things coming up and, um, I'm excited because one thing I did say I was going to manifest, and this is the reason why I'm making this kind of an accountability series is that unnecessary stress, overworking, all that stuff, that is, that is staying and has been staying in 2023. Yeah. I'm not going to stress out about things that I can't control and the things that I can control, I'm going to shift to make it where it is less stressful. That's just what it is. <laughs> you know, um, I need to age gracefully. And you know what causes you to not age gracefully? Stress. Overworking. <laughs> so, therefore, yeah. So that's going to be the other update. Is in April. We are going to be doing a 30-day challenge. But that's also your girl's birthday month. Ah probably guess what song I am or maybe not anyway but <laughs> that is pretty much all I wanted to say to you today uh you know if you are still someone who has a lot of stress try your best to leave that behind and I I decided I was gonna do that last year I decided um I, I've been making constant efforts to do better about stress because that is another component to either, you know, weight staying on you or you losing too much weight where you kind of don't look healthy because you're not eating. So it's, you know, it's one or the other. In my case, it's definitely, you know, the weight stays on when I'm really, really stressed. So we're, we're working on fixing that. And also too, um, I am still going to be posting videos here and there it's just not going to be as consistent. Um, so I should probably state that too. Because I do actually start my half marathon training um, in March. So I want to I want you guys to see the journey of that. I am going to also try to do more strength training videos. And all the new things I've been doing. Because lately I have been. I, I have been consistent about going to the gym. There is that. But I've also added new things to my repertoire because I am trying to get in runner shape and, you know, really trying to gauge things, get trying to get my ankles back up to like the strength that they were when I was running constantly, um, circulation right, all the things. Anyway, so that does conclude the video. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melon the Nostalgic Runner, and I will see you next time. Happy Friday, guys. Bye. By the way, even though I filmed this on Friday, this is still coming out on Monday. <laughs> uh, so I know you mentioned, I know I mentioned Friday in the video. I just wanted to call it out though. You're still getting this on a Monday because um, we want to get back to consistent. Oh, I forgot to mention. The other thing is the Get Fit With Me series presents accountability. I am still planning on doing that every Monday because that does actually help me stay accountable. Just like I'm hoping it's helping you stay accountable. So anyway, bye.